Okay, today's video is going to be about deploying software to the firewall through Panorama. So if your firewall is managed by Panorama, then you can deploy that software and you can upgrade or downgrade the, the firewall from Panorama as opposed to doing it locally on the firewall. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. One is convenience if you get to Panorama. Um, it, there's instances where firewalls are uh, isolated from the internet, so for they're in a highly secure location or something, they haven't got access to the internet just in case, but they are connected to Panorama, so you can push the software down to them. You can also push um, the dynamic updates and so on. Uh, and ba basically anything, if I'm being honest, anything underneath device deployment, really, um, software, Global Protect, client, you can push down to it, dynamic updates, plugins, and then you can do your licenses as well. So if we look in licenses, we can see that I've got my VM London and Nevada, and I can see which licenses are on there and when they expire. So there's no excuse for expired licenses. So, but what we're going to do today is we're going to downgrade this particular firewall. Now, the reason for this today specifically is because um, I suspect there is an issue with this this particular firewall based on the on the level of code it went up to. So I upgraded it to 10.1.11 and 10.1.11 on my home firewall, my, my actual firewall that I use at home, um, caused multiple issues and I'm just kind of curious as to whether that's the case for this one as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the, the so the version now is 10.1.11 and we're going to downgrade it to 10.1.10 H2 because that is the preferred release and I know that to be a good version. Okay, so let's let's crack on. Okay, so just to show that we, so we're on our PAVM Nevada and we're going to do a show system, system info and we are going to match on S3 version. Okay, so we can see that the software version is 10.1.11 H1. Um, if anybody's unfamiliar with the show system info command, show system info just shows you all the information about the system, the uh, version, the plugin versions, the version of code that you're running, serial number, um, address, IP address of the management interface, and the default gateway, and etc. Um, but in this case, we're just going to use it for the software version. So we're now on 10.1.11 H1. So we're going to come back to our our panorama now, and we're always going to do the check now. If you remember, so for both panorama and for firewalls, always do check now. Uh, otherwise, sometimes they just don't work. And what we're interested in is 10.1.10. And then we can see, so here we've got the options for everything that, uh, that panorama manages, as well as uh, for um, itself. There is, there's versions of, of the code and it's done in platform. So if we look at the platform there, so we've got the M series, which is the log collectors. We have the 5200s, the 800s, the new uh, the 5400s, the new 5400 range, and the 7000s and so on. And it's important that you pick the right um, the right version for the, the platform that you're pushing to because otherwise it just, it, well, it won't work. So this is the one we want here because it's the VM version and I'm running VM series. So I'm going to download that, and I'm not going to bore you with the uh, the download details, so I'll pause it there. Okay, so that's downloading. As we can see, it's hopefully transferred a copy of the image to its HA peer as well. But this is the active we're working on, so this is one we're going to use. So we can validate that, and we can export it. So we can, if we wanted to, we could pull this down from here now, um, export it to SCP server. We haven't got any SCP servers um, configured, so we can't, but we could export it and then manually upload it to the firewall if we wanted to, or we can install. So we're going to choose install, and then it's going to give me an option of the, the two firewalls I want to install it into, and you can see the current version is 10.2.4.h2 for VM London and 10.1.11.h1 for uh, Nevada. So we're going to choose Nevada. And then we have the options down here of upload only to the device, do not install. So I can upload the, the software to it. That will upload it to the, the device. And it will, as part of that process, it will preload it into the software manager for me. So I can go on and upgrade it as when I feel like it. Or I can reboot the device after install. So basically, I want to do the whole thing together in one go. So I'm going to select reboot the device after install. You may or may not want to. 
Um, some people want a bit more control over it, but and you've got to bear in mind your firewall is suddenly going to disappear. You're not going to be on it. Um, so, but this is what I'm going to do because this is a lab and a lab comes with a certain amount of freedom. Okay, so now it's just going to sit here for a while and it's going to tell me that it's, it's pendings and the upload to it will go there. We can see it progressing and then it should give us the, the status that, um, that it's going to reboot. It's really bizarre. They're literally sat on the same ESXi server, so I don't know why it's taking so long. So I'll just pause it for a second. Okay, so at 50% now we've got the image uploaded. So now it's going to it's going to reboot. I wonder if we can see the status on this side. No, we don't see a status on this side for that. And so now it'll be loading it into the software manager and it will be um, it'll be getting ready to reboot. So when you would normally do this, you would uh, download your image, you would load it into this, it would load into the software manager and then it would come up with a, a dialog box that says, uh, do you want to reboot? You have to reboot in order to reboot into the new image. Um, and then yes or no, but this will then complete that step for us. Okay, and as we can see now, obviously we've got the image uploaded, installation initiated. So that is now initiating it. And I think if I were to try and ping it, you can see that at the minute it does ping. And it should stop pinging as the firewall is rebooted. Just say so, we, we did actually see as well, we do have, actually have a, a task here that you can see on the device of software install that's been, um, that's been initiated by the system. It is still pinging away, so I won't bore you with just watching some pings happening. As you can see, we're still, still pinging away. But the panorama is basically giving you... Um, giving you a step-by-step -step of what's happening. So you can monitor it from, from the panorama as well. So now it's loading Software Manager and now it'll be completing the, the, the reboot. So any minute now we should stop pinging, which I believe we have. No, still going. Okay, so now as we can see, it's uh, so basically it's come back as a result succeeded, so it's completed, and then we're going to please reboot to switch to a new version. But we've already told it to reboot automatically, so it should, as long as it follows what it says it's going to do, it should now be rebooting for us. And indeed, finally, after me saying it about four or five times, uh, now we're getting the request timed out because the firewall is now rebooting into the new version. Uh, and it was all monitored through here. One thing to very, be very cautious of is a lot of companies, when you're at places, they will have uh, an absolute timeout for sessions or indeed an idle timeout for sessions um, on Panorama or on the firewall. So if you're looking to monitor it through Panorama on the firewall, bear in mind that this has taken, this has taken in excess of, of 10 minutes so far. You'll probably hit that, that sort of, that, um, restriction you'll probably hit that time out so at which point then you're gonna to have to sort of come back into it but uh if you keep it keep session alive you'll be able to monitor it through here and of course if you keep a ping going to the firewall itself or if you can console onto the firewall and watch what the firewall is doing um again you so you can do that through you can do that through vm series if it's on the sxi or or what other other hosting platform you have kvm or so on you can console onto it um, and of course with a hardware firewall you can console onto it. So, so now what we're going to do is going to wait for it to reboot, wait for it to come back up and then we'll just confirm the um, software version and uh, I'm hoping that the bugs that I suspect are in 10.1.11 which is causing me the problems will be fixed. But at the very least, at the very least, you will now know how to push a software update to a firewall from Panorama. Okay, so and now the moment of truth, we can see that we're back pinging and all is well. 
and now apparently it is on that version so if we just go now we can just check on our um, summary see if it has reconnected to here which it hasn't done as yet but it will do eventually and I will just on the other screen at the same time so when the firewall comes back up and it starts pinging it doesn't always necessarily mean that the firewall's ready as well. Um, so the management interface will come back up and it will be able to ping and then you'll try to log on to it and you won't be able to. So if we were to refresh this, for instance, here, chances are I'm not, yeah, not going to get a login. So you have to wait for the management services to start. Um, so what I've done there is, is, is I've, I've uh, overshot the mark a little bit. So just uh, we'll give it a couple more minutes. Okay, and so finally now we're back and it's connected and um, the firewall's come back up. We can get to it again. This is the firewall here. So I can now log into it. And we can see now that the software version is 10.1.10.h2. It's upgraded and it was done through Panorama. Okay, so please like and subscribe if you've made it this far and um, I'll catch you in the next video.